little bit of Eye of a Newt, and a little bit of Frazzle Dazzle. Dad, what the heck are you doing? I'm, I'm sacrificing my happiness. What the heck are you doing that? Because that's what you're supposed to do. You sacrifice your happiness to make other people happy for family, for society, for culture, your jobs, just everybody in general. You do what everybody says you should do so they're happy. So. You have to be miserable so other people are happy. That's what you do. Oh, by the way, you're gonna be doing this too. Um, why am I going to be doing this? Because that's what you do. Well, I just said you sacrifice your happiness. You gotta follow the same patterns and the same generational cycles that I follow that everybody else follows. You gotta sacrifice your happiness. And by the way, you gotta sacrifice your happiness to make me happy. Um, that's a whole lot of nope. I'm not responsible for anybody's happiness but my own. I create my own happiness. I do things that make me happy. Maybe it'd be a good idea for you to do the same, Dad? But you're responsible for my happiness. <sighs> I'm out. But, no! You gotta make me happy! <sighs> yeah, right. Hey, it's Tony freaking Fonty. How you doing? I hope you enjoyed that video, that message that we cooked up for you. I'm going to share a little story behind that. If you haven't realized this by now, that the messages that I bring, the videos, even when they're fun, um, actually they're all fun now, but even when I bring those messages to you, and I bring those funny videos to you, there's a story behind those. Story behind where that originated from, where that message came from, and they're personal to me. It's either something that I'm currently walking through or something that I have already walked through and now I'm sharing it. And it's through the processes and the tools that I that I have and possess and me being connected with my myself and my higher self to be able to do what I do and to be able to bring up these old stories, to bring up these old pains and these belief patterns and, and limiting beliefs that had been hiding dormant in my subconscious mind. And that's what we all do. We have all have these stories and these beliefs that are laying, they're not dormant though, they're laying down, they're repressed and suppressed and pushed away because we don't wanna deal with it for many reasons. Um, and I use the tools I do to bring that up so I can heal from that, so I can create more freedom in my life. So I'm gonna share with you a story on where this originated from. Then I'm gonna give you an opportunity, some activities to implement in your own life to increase and shift your awareness so that you can see possibly where you are doing the same exact thing, things in your life or similar things that are sacrificing your happiness and are potentially sacrificing your happiness because these things can come up and they seem so subtle or they seem like they're so minuscule but they're actually wreaking havoc, havoc on our lives and preventing us from showing up the best we can for our daughters and for the for the world itself and doing what we are fulfilled to do and, and, and really being in our element. So I'm going to share with you those activities as well. So let's just dive right into the story. Sacrificing your happiness. And this is something that I've been working through for the last two months. Yes, it is that deep and there's that much going on. And I've been walking through trying to figure out uh, my um, sacrificing happiness and I realized that as I become more and more of who I really am and as I step into who I really am and my true identity the more I stop trying to fit in whether that's with family whether that's with society or culture or religion and what the newest thing has come is even as what coaches are typically doing in the industry and I stand out to make my own mark to show up powerfully. And yes, this gets me a little emotional. 
My ego says, don't do that. You have to fit in. You have to change who you are to fit in. You can't be yourself because if you do, you will be abandoned. You will be rejected. And you won't be loved. Those are the stories that I've been playing in my mind that my ego has been trying to push me down to keep me safe and to protect me. Because that's what it's been doing my whole freaking life. And if you follow me for any reason, you know that I've dealt with anger. I've dealt with bitterness, resentment. I've been toxic and insecure. And everything that I share and everything that I've walked through in my first book, which is the foundational work, and the work that I do now, which is even more powerful, which will be coming out later on, and the book that I'm co-writing with my daughter now. It's been an amazing journey. It's been painful too. And these stories are what has been coming up. Don't do it, Tony. You'll be rejected. And you'll be abandoned. And then I'm reminded of where those stories came from. From my dad. Sacrificing my own happiness to make him happy. Or to stay under his radar so I didn't feel his wrath. Or I changed who I was, sacrificed my, who I really am to become someone else to get his approval, to get his love and acceptance. I was changing who I was. I did it with my mom because some of those stories that come up in the last two weeks. You see, when we become who we truly are and we start stepping towards that, we make people uncomfortable. And they don't know this consciously. But they don't like that we're changing. You've changed. Well, you damn right I've changed. I didn't stay. I, I didn't do what I'm doing to stay where I'm at. But we make them uncomfortable because when we make, when we start growing and we raise our energy and our vibration, we start stepping into who we really are. What it's doing is bringing up the pain that's deep inside them. I did this with my brother. I did this with friends. I did this with peers. Trying to fit in to be accepted and loved. I had, my belief was I had to change who I was to be accepted, to be loved. And now, as I'm really stepping into who I really am, as I bring up the Tony freaking Fonte show, as I start stepping into my gifts of bringing that unique shift of taking laughter and having fun with a serious situation. And bringing my style of healing and freedom. My ego reminds me, Tony, don't. You're going to be all alone. No one's going to love you. You're going to be rejected. Which are all lies, by the way. All bullshit. But that's what's been going through, and I've been battling and walking through and releasing and letting go of all that past pain and accepting the truth that I was never designed to fit in. And the same things that I've been doing to break the cycle of that anger, the bitterness, the resentment, breaking the cycle. To become who I am. To become the best man, the best dad that I could possibly be. And that's what I've been doing for the past four and a half years. The closer I get to my true identity, the more that voice tells me no. Because of all those old patterns. You don't deserve it. I don't deserve happiness. I have to struggle to get what I want. You don't deserve a healthy, loving relationship. You have to struggle. You have to sacrifice your own happiness to make others happy. It doesn't matter what you want. You have to make them happy. And lo and behold, still didn't make them happy. And I was miserable. And I created all this pain and suffering in my own life, 
which increased my anger, my resentment, my bitterness, my insecurities, being toxic because I'm trying to control everything in my, 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 my situation and my environment so I can find peace, so I can find happiness. I was seeking happiness outside of myself. And when I stopped doing that, and as I become more and more free and more bold and standing out confidently and coaching, in the coaching industry, in society and culture, and against re religion, and following the damn truth of who I am and what I'm capable of doing, I show up more powerfully as a man, as a dad, as a business owner, as a friend. It's scary, but I know the truth. I won't be alone. I won't be rejected. I'll be accepted more. I'll be loved more. And I'll be sought after more. To share these messages. To share the energy that only I can bring. But that's what I've done my whole life. Sacrificing my own happiness. And realize this. As I really step into my true self, I unleash it. I fully embrace who I am as a powerful, infinite, abundant soul. It has the ability to create the reality that I wish, to have the experiences that I want, and build an amazing relationship with my daughter. I break free. But the ego wants to hold on and says no. And I release that because I faced the resistance. And because I faced the resistance, I embraced the pain. I create more freedom. You can't make anybody else happy. The truth is, is you find your own happiness on the inside. You work on yourself. You focus on yourself. And because you do that, you show up more powerfully. You show up free. You create the life of your dreams. You don't have to sacrifice anything. And the truth is, yeah, some people are going to reject me. And that's okay. As I move, there will be more and more people who will accept my authentic self. More and more people who will love my authentic self. Because I deserve the best. And I deserve it all. And so do you. My happiness is important. Because if I'm happy, everybody else around me will be happy as well. I allow them to find their own happiness. Their unhappiness has nothing to do with me. My happiness does. And that's what I'm doing from now on. I'm being me, and I'm going to show up authentically, and you're going to find more of the Tony freaking Fonte show, mixing my unique gift of laughter and serious topics and making the journey of becoming who you want to be fun. Question, like I said, I was going to do, where in your life do you feel like you are sacrificing your own happiness. Whether it's in your career, whether it's in your business, whether it's in your relationships, whether it's fina financially, where are you struggling? Where are you finding resistance in your life? And chances are, you're gonna find somewhere inside where you felt you had to sacrifice your own happiness inside that. Whether it's your identity and your work, or somewhere outside of you, seeking happiness, where are you sacrificing? Once you determine that answer, and it could take some time, because it's gonna be some great deep inner reflection, then ask where that comes from, whether that's back in childhood, which most of that's where it's gonna come from, whether it's something you believed in childhood, whether it's true or not, it doesn't matter, it's true to you. Look within. 
and see where you are sacrificing happiness. And then I want to end with this. If you feel led, and this resonates with you, and all my messages or any of my messages have resonated with you, and you're ready to take your life to the next level, and you're ready, you're ready to build an amazing relationship with your daughter, because dads, I can tell you this. Your daughters are going to find a guy like you and marry him someday. And if you are not happy with if she chose today a man like you, there's hope. There is a way, another way, and you could shift and change that. If you're looking to build amazing relationships, take your life to the next level. Find more freedom and have more fun and create the experiences that you want. I'm forming a group right now. It starts February 5th. Group coaching. I have 12 spots available. And we're going to go on a six-month journey. A weekly online. It's an online conference, video conference. So you can do it from the comfort of your home or your office or wherever that you can stay committed and have your complete attention in that moment. We're going on a journey together. There's dynamic in group coaching. There's a huge dynamic inside that. And I absolutely love pouring in to people. So if you're ready to have freedom in your life, if you're ready to break the damn cycle and live the life you've always been dreaming, Create the memories that you want, that you choose, and build an amazing relationship with not only your daughter, but those that matter most. Reach out. See if group coaching is a fit for you. Yes, you have to apply. Because not everybody's a good fit. I'm not a good fit for everybody. I promise you that. Not everybody likes my style. And not everybody's a good fit for me. And we have to make sure it's a win-win for everybody. If not, I will direct you in the right position the right path to do so. I'm Tony freaking Fonte. I'll bring healing and freedom through laughter. I make the journey of living the life of your dreams and creating the man you want to be fun. Reach out if this resonates with you and you're ready. Talk to you soon. Tony freaking Fonte.